Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, the friend you haven't spoken to in six years, glanced across the street, heading in the other direction. And it's time for episode... Twe... Twelve? Episode 12? <laughs> episode 13, probably, of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. So today, we're going to kick off with a lengthy investigation of uh, what's up with Lydia Daybreak. But before we talk about that, two real, thi real quick things first. Number one, I accidentally activated this save point, which means I have a new skin for my laptop to show you, which, you know, since I'm going through all of them anyway. Symbol of a kiss. A kiss while the many-eyed goat watches is the most romantic of kisses. Which, you know, each to their own, I suppose. Nothing quite like uh, trying to romantically smooch the love of your life while a uh, rectangle-eyed ungulate stares you down relentlessly. So, that's the first thing. The second thing before we come back and talk to Lydia is we are going to go and grab that upgrade that Dead Nebula has been... Uh, kind enough to leave for us. So, in just a moment... Oh ho, what's this? Recording obtained. Recording 002. I asked Tanya what she thinks, if she can feel it too. She laughed. She doesn't feel it. I looked into Tanya's past. She seems normal. Seems. And, uh, back to editing out all of my travel time. Go! Well, here we are. What upgrade are we gonna get? Dunno, but I really hope it's Cosmos, because that will let us unlock, like, six things. Is this the one Dead Nebula told me to look for? A1. Visions of Worship. A knowledge tablet for Starlight. Please manually install from Starlight's inventory. Etched by a pilgrim to the harrowing marble prayer citadels on a planet forgotten by all but the gods. Allow Starship to process worship glyphs. I don't think we've even found a worship uh, locked door yet. Yo, you got the upgrade. Good work. I told you we'd come through for you. Thanks for the help. No worries, always got to help the investigator of a mass murder. Don't forget to install it from Starlight's inventory. Don't you think that's a hassle? An unnecessary step? Friction is nice, it makes things more meaningful. I guess. We'll let you get back to it. Remember to buy more drinks. Buy. More. Drinks. Fun to have the uh, little winking nudge from the developers directly to the players. <laughs> like, yes, friction is important, and games that remove all the friction tend to be worse. This, however, isn't really friction. Oh, is that it? Okay. Thought there'd be more to it. Anyway, so let's zoom back to Lydia, especially since I literally have no I don't think I've met a single door that was locked by that by that sigil yet. So And we're back. Time to talk to Lydia and ask her why her car looks so boring. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a, a 1980s, you know, like power car. Like a I don't know from cars, like a, a Thunderbird? Is that a good one? A, a Dodge Charger? Jesus Christ. Anyway. Hi, Lydia. The Fairy Woman. Right. Uh, geez, that's actually less information than I thought. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's just ask her about everything. Are you buying this Henry story? I hope it's him, LD. If it was one of us, the Syndicate could collapse. Aikiko chan found him at the scene. Oh, so you're a weeb? He had a knife in the victim's blood, right? That paints a pretty convincing picture. Maybe it's a little too convincing. You think something else is going on, LD? I don't, but I have to check. I should probably talk at some point about the interesting tension between the lies of the player and the lies of the player character in games. I should make a note of that. A demon-possessed citizen with a grudge makes this a nice, simple case. Nice. Did you have any problems with the council? No, nope. me and Sammy are just living our lives. We're not into the politics and scheming on the island. What about the rest of the syndicate? Anyone come to mind that has a grudge against the council? This is a dark line of questioning. If people find out I've said anything, I'll get a target on me. You're an ex-assassin that's cooperating with the lead investigator. You'll be fine. 
I need your help, Lydia. I've been gone so long. Things are weird on this island. You're telling me. Okay, because it's you, I have started to worry about a couple people. Yuri's up to no good. What makes you say that? We'll get into that later. Carmeline is the other one. The architect? Why? Gut feeling. Okay, well what is your alibi? Where were you at the time of the murder? Sammy had packed up his bar, so I picked him up. It was his turn to go through the Paradise Gates to the next island. I took him over there, but before we could go through, they locked in response to the murder. Will the logs at the gates confirm this? Should do. We started the warm-up procedure, but then it shut down. What's the deal with the warm-up procedure? Well, you can't just walk through the Paradise Gates. They're connected to another reality. It takes a lot of power to move between different realities, and it's a complicated procedure. The gates need some time to draw enough power in and do the calculations to get you to the next island. How is that any different to just driving around the island? Well, we're not hopping between realities on the island, so we can just cruise. Just a bit of single reality driving, huh? Is that, is, that a, is that a joke? I don't know from cars. You got it. Holler at me any time you want to go for a cruise, LD. Well, that's fair, and... Um, it seems like she probably really was in that place at the same time. However, if, as I suspect, this is a wide-reaching conspiracy involving all of these assholes, then um, it'd be relatively easy for her to have bypassed, you know, the seals at one point and then later not be around for the actual murder murder. All right, time to work our way through the motives. Let's talk about your suspicions about Carmelina. Calm's a genius. The next island will probably be perfect. She'll have crafted a masterpiece. You've probably heard people talking about Montserrat. He was getting paranoid. He was getting arrogant. For some people, honing their craft is enough. Others need rewards. I don't know if Montserrat was in the credit-giving frame of mind. A slighted genius? Maybe. Total speculation. Like, quite a lot of this. All right, what about the two of you? I have to ask about this, Lydia, but do you have a motive for killing the council? I get it, you're just doing your job. No, me and Sammy haven't got a reason to hit the syndicate like this. You're happy here? As anyone can be. All right, prove that. <laughs> Been writing lyrics, Lydia? What do you mean? I found these lyrics in a bottle. No way, that's embarrassing. I should have known the tide around this island was drunk. I assume they have some meaning? I'd never ask a songwriter about their lyrics, LD. If you can't intuit the meaning, then you weren't meant to know. Okay, that's interesting, because we found the um, blood vial canister with all of the council's blood right underneath the uh, council building, but it was on the shoreline. Maybe someone did try to dispose of it secretly, threw it into the ocean, and the tide put it back on the land. That's still an incredibly suspicious object. I'm surprised I couldn't take it into my inventory. Has Yuri got a motive for killing the council? He's ambitious and he wants power. Well, that's true. He hasn't earned it though. Unearned power is bad news, LD. He used to be small time, a shitty little kid, but one day he got buff. One day? Well, yeah, it was weird. It was almost overnight. He became handsome, he got six pack abs, and he started to be charming. His charm's fake though. He's trying to get his own way all the time. Be careful with him. He's been trying to push his own agenda on the council, but it's never gone well. Montserrat was fixed on his plan, Yuri wasn't going to push him around. I got a bad feeling about him a while back, and I pulled some records from the Moon database. Here, take them. Try asking Sammy as well. People get loose lipped in a bar. Yeah, unfortunately, everything she tells me is suspect, because I, she's the prime suspect, in my opinion, at the moment, for the... um. At the very least, the bypassing of the second seal, which is still a crime, even if it's more of an abstract existential crime than a sort of... Existential? That's not right. Esoteric. There we go. Words. Uh, they sure are parcels of meaning uh, transmitted from mind to mind through the medium of wobbling bits of flesh. Still. When I spoke to Yuri, he sounded to me much more like he was... Like he wanted power, but he wanted it... He sounded like a company man, right? He wanted respect through working within the organisation. Um, cutting off the head of the snake just kind of threatens all of them. I, I kind of don't buy Yuri, partly because he just 
got on my nerves and therefore I'm inclined to suspect that I'm not supposed to trust him, which again is metagaming. What can you tell me about Yuri and what he was doing last night? I was talking with him all night. He was my handler for pickups. Pickups? But you know, the move to the next island. The islands exist in separate pockets of reality, so we can't just hop on a boat trip. We have to go through the paradise gates, get our transdimensional travel on. Mashahiro Heavy Industries. Oh, it was Mashahiro. Built this car to do it. It's the only thing on the island that can go through the gates, and I'm the ferrywoman. On the night an island ends, I wait for syndicate members to report to Yuri that they're done with their duties. Yuri calls me and arranges a pickup. I grab them and take them through the gates to the new island. You were in contact with him all night. Well, there was a time when I couldn't contact him. When we got to the Paradise Gates, I checked in with him to confirm the warm-up sequence had started, but I couldn't get through. Any idea why? Is that unusual? It has happened a couple of times before. The reality folding drive sometimes causes it. It's just odd that it happened last night, of all nights. I'll try checking his phone records at the comms tower. So, okay, that could be coincidence, but also, um... Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh well. That's the flaw in having mental problems. Alright, what's her opinion on who actually killed the marshals? Bear in mind, as an ex-assassin, she would absolutely have the know-how how to do it. Uh, and we can already place her at the scene of the second, uh, the second seal breach. Do you know anything about the murder of the marshal guards outside of the council building? Not a thing, LD. I was working last night. Well, that's that then. Also, hang on a second, why is it necessary to go through Yuri to get to her anyway? Why can't they just phone her directly if all they need is a pickup? What do you know about the second seal? It's a secret, LD. I've never been through that big door in the council building. I'm going to ask her about the space helmet later. I want, I'm worried that if I do that, the the uh, conversation will just end. K-Hax. What do you know about K-Hax's disappearance? Haven't seen him in a while, LD. I was hoping he'd turn up on my list of pickups last night. I thought he was just taking some time out, but th that he would be ready to go to the next island. I guess something bad happened? Have you poked around his place on the mountain? Yep, I absolutely have. Did you see the architect last night? I didn't see her. I was waiting for the call to pick her up. I heard she was at Witness's apartment, if that helps. Yeah, everyone's saying that they were at each other's apartment, but that just could mean they got their story straight and everybody they just both told everybody that's where they'd be. Did you see the doctor last night? DJ said he was in his clinic all night. Have you asked him? Alright, time to uh, circle back around and hope nothing terrible happens. Do you often like to dress up in space helmets? What are you talking about, Eldie? I found a space helmet that smells of your perfume. A space helmet? Why is that on the island? Well, you would need one to get through the second holy seal. Did you use it to go through the seal? I've never seen a space helmet. Never mind worn one. Then why does it smell of your perfume? No idea, LD. Someone planted it as evidence? You said your perfume is a unique blend only you know the recipe for. How could someone else plant it? I'm sorry, I can't help you, LD. Okay, so she doesn't have a plausible explanation for that. So that's incredibly suspicious. On the other hand, what, what exactly is to stop someone just stealing a bottle of perfume? This island is not like a, a kind of a, a digital heaven. It is a physical, real place, just in a magical soap bubble outside of reality. <laughs> Oh, okay. If I, we, if I want to hang out, we have to do it in the car, I guess. Let's go for a drive. What led you to the life of an assassin? How come you're asking me about this now? Well, we never talked about it before my exile. And now a mass murder happens, you just happen to bring it up? I had a lot of time to think in the Idle Lands. Not a lot to do up there, huh? I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. I don't like to talk about it, you know. That's behind me. Being an assassin was simple. You don't have to worry about a lot once you get good at it. Find the target, learn the target, end the target. Man, I can really agree with that as someone who obsessively plays uh, like immersive sim assassination simulators. God, I love me a Dishonored or a Hitman or... Uh... I really ought to be able to name more. Love though, that's complicated. That's why I drive and I paint. I always need a skill to master. Have you, you've got a new car since I've been gone. Yeah, she's pretty, ain't she? Upgraded. Got bored of the muscle car look. 
Masahiro offered to refit the old girl, but I wanted a change. So here she is, burn parliament. A lot of memories cruising in the old girl. Endless summer nights, right? Endless possibility. Things were simpler. Things are so messed up right now. The way of the world. Are you cool if I drop you back at the beach? Sure thing. Thanks for the ride. God forbid she dropped me off somewhere useful. Rather than literally where we started. LD, I have something I think we should discuss. Oh, interesting. What's up? Do you have something you want the to tell the investigator? This is a sensitive subject. For who? It's about someone on the island, but it might be something you don't want to hear about. I'm an investigator. The truth doesn't care about feelings. Man, that kind of line has been absolutely poisoned by horrible right-wing gremlins. You know, I told you that Yuri suddenly got ripped overnight. He became a new person. What if it was a god that did it? You mean a blessing? Deception. That's dangerous talk. The goddess Enchanted Blue bestows physical gifts in return for devotion. Deception by a god is a crime. I don't want to just accuse him. What makes you so sure? He's been going on and on about retrieving her body. She's dormant in the Sahara cabins in the real world. Yuri wants the council to authorize an op to go get her. That's suicide. Enchanted Blue is guarded by elite custodians. I know. There's no way Montserrat would let it happen. I think that's why he's been pushing to get on the council. If he's been deceived, would he really kill the council? He's not going to be on the new council. What if he doesn't stop until he is? I'll keep your suspicion secret, but I'll look into it. Thanks, Lydia. Now that is interesting. Primarily because that tells us even more about how this world works. Um, right, I'm gonna come back later. May your spectre gaze upon a star. And may you reach the moon. I wonder if I wonder if their particular calling phrases are references back to whichever gods they happen to personally worship. Anyway, so I'm gonna wander around and explore here a little bit, and then next episode will probably be me exploring the rest of the uh, the citizen housing complex here, since there's bound to be all sorts of secrets hidden away. But um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty curious about some of that. I think. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, hang on. I'm forgetting what I'm doing. See that line stretching across there? That's one of the um, like junction box lines. So there should be a thing that will un let me unlock a thing that will let me access the uh, nightmare computer back over there, which will then let me get the records of where she's been all night, which will uh, support or counter her alibi. So let's do that first. There we go. And you know what? Jumping makes me thirsty. A2. Tropical demolition. A tropical flavoured drink full of electrolytes. It used to be called Sunset Beach, but the marketing team wanted to aim it at men. <laughs> New gun oil flavour. <laughs> Pumped full of vitamins. Oh, hello, what's this? Severed arm. This was someone's arm. Horrific. Well, I assume that a ghost somewhere is going to be very pleased by the fact that I have preemptively found this under... I was going to call this a boardwalk, but it's clearly poured concrete. I heard that time separates passion from conspiracy. Uh... Okay. Only in some crime. You can be passionate about a slow conspiracy. You get what I mean, love dies. Don't pick apart everything I say. Enjoy the abstract. How much time did this crime take? Was it opportunity or a centuries-old plan? Time's a weird thing on these islands. Yeah, it is, since people do seem to live for thousands of years, but also live, like, ordinary lives with ordinary lengths. What's the... <laughs> this is another one of those perhaps over-served areas with, um... Fast travel points just, like, literally five metres away from each other. I mean, I'm going to unlock it anyway because of completionist instincts, but, uh, seems uncalled for. Bathed towers. The towers sparkle in the waning sun. A cascade of jewels as far as the eye can see. But yeah, so, um, we'll head back over there. No, I guess, let's go... 
let's go do that next time. For now, we're just going to spend a couple minutes rummaging around in the nearby buildings before next episode we actually explore this place fully and see what else we can find. Other, I mean, we're probably going to find a zillion blood crystals around here, but it looks like, from when I briefly saw this place earlier, that there are a lot of scattered, loose, uh, random items, and maybe some side quests. A time to cut the air. A time for monolithic cities. A time for blood. A time for psychosis. That was weird. That's the first time he's disappeared while still, while I was still talking to him. Now this appears to be another one of the uh, false nebulas, the various shards. Absolutely, I'm going to use this evil broken machine. B1. I can of course empathize with this. You know, being a busted AI myself. Another quarantined machine. Hey baby, you want to get wicked? Want to take it to the limit? Absolutely not. You and I could do amazing things, baby. You ever got down on digital? You want to open your ports to my download and open up my .exe? Come on, baby. We can cyber all day and all night. I know what you're about to do. Intrusion attempt detected. Engaging all firewalls. Unauthorized intrusion halted. Intruder purged. What's wrong, baby? What the hell are you babbling about? I just want to get out of here and into your fantasies, baby. Intruder identity confirmed. Failed AI shard Devil Nebula. Don't listen to Starlight, baby. I'll do things to you that you never thought possible. We ain't got much time, baby. You think you're in paradise? I'll show you a real paradise. You can cyber in hell, you little punk. I got music we can do it to. Something to set the mood, baby. What? My special track for doing what I do best. Starlight. Reverse intrusion success. Copying. Music file downloaded. Shutting down bending operations. Why are you playing me like this, baby? We can do things that would make Doom Jazz blush. I'd rather die. Relic <laughs> Dead Nebula unknown product. And also another Epoch B-side. Unlimited infinity love. Endlessness creates fear. Humans desire an end to all things, except summer. We wish we could have an endless summer, dancing all night, and for once in our lives be glad to be alive before the claws of the weight of knowledge and responsibility pierce our flesh once more. Is that all that's down here? I like how overgrown this is. A lot of the um a lot of the spaces in this game are very, very, very much the same as one another. But you do still get these little details of these uh, abandoned hidden urban spaces. The little place in which the trash gathers. Which is, of course, where you find a busted vending machine. Or some money someone accidentally threw in the water. Aha, there's a Shinji. Oh, Shin Ujukdigath. Our love can never be. He thinks I can't see him. Are you glad to be back, love dies? An investigation to end all investigations? The biggest crime of all? I envy you. I'd love a purpose, a noble cause, a vocation. Yeah, I think she's pretty proud of her job. It's what I was born to do. There you go, that's the spirit, a bit of enthusiasm. I'm expecting big things from you, love dies. And boom, away he disappears again. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be it from me for today. Join me next time and we'll have a thorough big old nose around in this extremely large and possibly haunted, in fact definitively absolutely haunted, there's gonna be ghosts. This is a ghost place. Um, I, <laughs> I would ghost so far as to say that it's haunted as fuck. Anyway, um, yeah, that's gonna be all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Join me again next time. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.